I have a, a child around that age and what I can't imagine what that child is going through and that needs to stop. The Native Women's Shelter of Montreal and the Centre for Research Action on Race Relations are calling on the Quebec government to order an external independent investigation into a case of an Inuk youth who was allegedly placed in isolation at Batshaw Youth and Family Centres at the detention centre in Prévost, 66 kilometres north of Montreal. They allege the boy faced neglect. This young Inuk boy was in an enormous amount of pain and had spoken to, um, you know, the workers there and they seemed to just sort of ignore it. They ignored it to the point where he had to be hospitalized and had his testicle removed. Nakuset says they received information about the teenager from an anonymous whistleblower from Batshaw last month. It feels like the staff have no outlet and their only outlet is to call us. And we need this behavior to stop immediately. They're alleging he was isolated for extended periods of time, had been told not to speak his own language to other Inuk youths, transferred out of his community without a social worker attached to his file, and didn't receive pain medications before or after his surgery. It's really difficult to be in care. It's really difficult to not be able to speak your language, to be isolated, to be in an enormous amount of pain. And this is life-changing. The group say they're avoiding bringing this case to the Quebec Human Rights Commission after another case of advocating for an Inuk youth didn't turn up results. We put out these complaints and it goes into a void. The lack of transparency, the lack of communication and very likely, as Nakusit mentioned, a lack of accountability within these watchdog or complaint mechanisms raise the question as to you know, whether it's worth it or not. Instead, they're appealing to the Ministry of Health and Social Services. What do we have to wait for in order for something to happen? Do we have to wait for someone to die? The West Island of Montreal Health Authority overseeing Badshaw told City News in a statement, the Youth Protection Act is an exceptional law that provides for very strict confidentiality rules. For this reason, we do not comment on specific cases. That being said, no form of violence, discrimination or racism towards the young people under our protection is tolerated. Young people can choose to express themselves in the language of their choice. City News reached out to the Ministry of Health and Social Services for comment but didn't hear back in time for air. From what I hear of what is going on, it breaks my heart. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.